hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial of the magento 2 so today we are going to learn about the magento 2 api token based authentication but here we are going to get the customer not admin token so so basically like admin has all the assets like you can say that they have the orders they have the products they have the customer details so which customer detail i want to fetch with the help of the admin authorization token i will get each and every detail of the admin okay so let's see how we are going to do that before those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video please do like share and comment on my video so let's get started so let me replace this url okay and now this one also okay so let's get the admin token so username i think admin password i think admin so this is my credentials of that admin which i try to log in let's see go and just clear this one okay so let me run this so here we get this token so let's add this token to the next one next api so this is the token that I need to add it over here. So I'm getting the customer details. So let me get the details of the customer, which customer I want the details like uh, second. Uh, no, second I have already get it. No, no, second I haven't get it. Rajini 90 is there. Test 90 we get. So it's second. So I will put the second over here to get the details. Let's check this one curl. So you can see that. First name is Rajnikanth, last name is Chaudhary. Okay. And let's see the same thing over here. So here we got Rajnikanth Chaudhary. And here we have this details. So you can see the count information. Then we have uh, this one. So you can see that Rajni and Chaudhary. You can see. So this is how I'm able to fetch the customer details with, with, when I get the admin token. Right. So any other details like the customer search. So let's search the customer also. So I'm going to add this one. This is basically the get one. So here we have search by the email criteria. So which email I have to use? That is, uh, let's add the same email or different email. Let's back and uh, we'll choose this one. This email, this is my official email. So let me add this one here. So by search is this one. Okay, let's add it. So this is basically the rest default rest API of the Magento, right? And the, I need to add the bearer token over here. So let me add this token to that one. Let's search this customer. What it says, the consumer isn't authorized to assess the resource. Okay, so I, I think we should create that one to assess that kind of things. Consumer is authorized. Okay, no issues. We will create the consumer and all to get these uh, details. So let's see in the next video. Okay, so currently if you want uh, like the customer authentication and all, you will have to follow this one okay so any doubt any query let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day